Hey girl, how you doing? Yeah. For the next episode, Tiny Ball Z. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the movie, don't watch this video. Go see the movie first. Unless you don't care, you want to hear what I got to say. But other than that, Wonder Woman. Good movie. Good movie. Um, first DCEU female superhero movie they've produced, and it's actually good. Now, unless you guys want to consider all the other movies like Catwoman, Elektra, Supergirl, and possibly Ultraviolet, and there's another one I can't think of top of my head. Oh, Domino. But other than that, the movie beats all of those, except for Supergirl. Cause I actually like Supergirl, and that was like back in freaking late 80s, early 90s like that movie but the movie Wonder Woman was better than all of those even better than Suicide Squad and that wasn't really easy to beat Gal Gadot she did a great job good casting for Wonder Woman um, Patty awesome director now let's talk about the things that I like about Wonder Woman I like the fact that they capture the essence of Wonder Woman um, the fact that she was just so innocent and naive, it's just like how somebody who isn't from a certain spot of a place, like say, say, say that they're new to somewhere, and they're just so innocent about what's going on in that world because they're not used to it from where they came from. I like the fact that they actually really started off in the mascara, where one of them is actually from. And they had so many diversity of people. I mean, they had some black people in there. Whoa, they had black people. But the fact that they had so many diversity and everything, that it was there and everybody either had a different accent or not really, or they tried to have the same accent as Gal Gadot playing Wonder Woman. Um, it had comedy in it where it really did need comedy because sometimes it did get a little bit dry but it needed the comedy aspect in there. I like the fact that when they took her, like I said, spoiler, they took her to do a uh, warp throat change because, you know, she's going in there in Europe in the battle armor and everything. People are looking at her like, wait, this is different, oh my God. They took her to try on new clothes and everything and she was going out and she wanted to wear, she was trying to go out in her, like, her sword and shield battle right and I was like, no, 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 no. Let us, you can't, you can't do this. Let us take those away from you. Because we, we, you can't have this in society. That was pretty funny. The action was good. It was, it was really good, and I liked the action. The only thing I didn't like about it was because they were trying to do a little bit of Matrix E uh, 300. They was doing the fast pace, and then they were doing the slow mo stuff. I mean, it was okay the first three, four, or five times, but after that, they kept doing it. And, I mean, I understand you want to so slap fast pace, and then you want to go slow mo. That was all right. Chris Pine did a good job as Steve. I mean, they could have added a little bit more flirty aspect because Steve was a little bit more flirtatious. But, I mean, I like the way he did it. You know, he added a little bit more humor. He actually balanced out Princess Diana and everything and actually made her see there was good in man even though you know her mom told her there wasn't any good in man blah blah blah, blah. but you know he actually showed there was good in man and people are good hearted at will not everybody is actually all evil her bad guys were pretty tricky the bad guys were good even though I don't know who the poison chick was because I don't really read one of them in comics I more follow the DC animated movies and video games and the old TV show. So I really didn't know who she was because I was more waiting to see if it was going to be Cheetah or Giganta or even um, one of her, the Miscarian's sisters who turned bad. I thought it was going to be one of them, but she surprised me. 
and even the other two bad guys, even though this movie took place in World War I. Um, some of the things I didn't like, I kind of explained, it was more of the action aspect where they did the fast place slow-mo thing. One of the big things I didn't like was, and they did it in Blade 2, which I really didn't like. The fact that there are some scenes where they didn't need CG to do it. For example, if a person is doing a one, two, hit, three, four combo and everything, they CG that. They didn't. They didn't need to do the CG for that. I mean, it wasn't necessary. But hey, if you want to spend the money, by all means, spend that money to do it. You know, pay the animators the side characters. I didn't like the side characters, they kind of weren't needed, but I, I know they needed them for certain reason to add more people into the movie, but to me they weren't needed. Eh, could have did without, but hey, it is what it is. Other than that, the movie was good. Like I said, I like how they got the innocence of Wonder Woman, her naiveness, and she this movie was a legit hero movie like she wanted to be a hero she wanted to save people that need to be saved and everything i mean just like i gotta stop saying i mean because i say i mean a lot but just like um superman i like man of steel that was a good movie to me everybody else they hated it the bad guy was good like Ares as a bad guy. I actually liked him. Some people didn't like him because they said the last fight scene was a little bit too fast, just like in Suicide Squad and Batman vs. Superman. I actually pretty much like it because it showed, to me, it showed more like the in game CG when you get certain bad guys. Like this Ares reminded me of Injustice Ares and his move sets. Like he was just. Do what he did in Injustice 2, and the person who became Ares actually really surprised me. But then that, like I said, Gal Gadot did a good, good job. Chris Pine did a good job. Patty did a good job directing it. The action was good. Story, meh. I guess it's because some people were expecting it to be dark, but it was actually more of a light movie. I really don't see one of them being a dark movie. So, story was, man, could have been a little bit better. And everything was just, was was good. So, originally, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10, but I raised it to an 8 out of 10. It's campy, but it's good. Other than that, guys, um, thank you for enjoying this review. If you liked it, Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, share all your friends. I will be doing a review on Guardians of the Galaxy, even though it came out a while ago. I will try to do one on Ghost in the Shell, and I might do one on Samurai Jack. Other than that, I will comment how me, ha, you guys later on the next episode of Ball Z. Peace.